Hey YouTube, this is all about Androids.com and today I have Eagle's Blood Build 3 on the LG G2X. Now this is Ice Cream Sandwich of course and this does include a lot of new features but um, overall it might seem slightly more buggy than the Build 2. I have had a few issues but um, I know that the developers are working really hard to fix those so that's no issue and I know that in the future that we will get more stable releases so this does come with um, the Trinity kernel so if we go to settings right here and right there we have the Trinity kernel and this allows you to overclock underclock and undervault your CPU which is a really nice feature so I have an app called ROM toolbox over here and there is a CPU control function and over here I can basically choose what speeds I would like to have. So right now I'm underclocked at 750 megahertz and I have profile set up over here where when my screen is turned off do the following, when it's on do that and when I need to save battery clock to that speed. Now at the same time if you have an app such as set CPU or um, Antutu so CPU free master right there you're able to undervault and even though this is a free version, you can still do the undervolting. So if you take a look right here, I've undervolted by uh, minus 50 millivolts. So if you click, you can choose how many you like to decrease it by. I recommend uh, to stay at 25 and 50. I've tried 75; it didn't it didn't work too well. So just um, you could play around, see which one suits your fancy, and apply that one for your phone. So that's it for the kernel. The kernel does, um, it tries to bring out a longer battery life, but um, so far as I can tell, it, it does an okay job. Uh, as you can see, I left it on since last night, and it pulls off in 11 hours and it's at 50% battery, but this big steep is when I was actually using the phone, uh, while for build two, I could easily pull off about 19 hours or so. And it had, of course, um, a nice straight line. Sometimes I used to go in airplane mode and then use it for the whole day while my data was constantly on getting email and um, comments from YouTube and email from work. And uh, it worked perfectly fine. While this one does seem to die slightly faster. But I have to say improvements, um, it is slightly less laggy in the menu. But um, <clears throat> again, when you switch to the widgets, it does have that few second glitch but again that that um, it's not too much of a trouble and uh, what I did notice is if you go to settings and under the performance tab right here surface dithering disable this I believe it comes by default but when I disabled it even though it says image quality for uh, performance I do not see anything wrong with the image quality I see every single app crystal clear nice and clean no like damaged pixels nothing so I disabled that and I saw that the app drawer was way more smoother than before so if you can just do that also another change in this um, that the kernel brings is um, before we had um, five IO schedulers now we only have three and the default is deadline so play around with the others see which one is the best for your phone Okay, now this uh, build does include profiles, so if you hold on the power button, you can choose profiles. And profiles is under the settings, and I'll show you in a second. And you have a few of them right here. So if you go to settings, and under personal profiles, over here you can configure it however you want. So just say I go on default, I want to have Bluetooth always enabled, GPS enabled, Wi-Fi enabled whatever I want I can just fix it up for this profile and when I go to work I can basically set up a different profile but at the same time I can add whatever name I want I can call it number one number two and just basically pile up stuff like that so I mean I think it's a really cool feature I haven't used it yet because I didn't have time to set it up but um, definitely give that a try it's really helpful if you normally move, a, uh, move around a lot of times go to different places and you have different uh, specifications 
you can just configure that how you want. Now, uh, one bad point about the kernel, um, if you click on reboot, it does not reboot, it simply turns off your phone, you'll have to power it up again with the power button, so just future notice, reboot doesn't work. And last fix in terms of um, what this build brings is uh, the mute fix. Sometimes when people call and you wanted to mute the mic, it wouldn't work, but now it does work perfectly fine. Of course, it comes with the updated gaps, so Play Store right there. It's the exact same thing as the app market, just Google's renaming the brand and getting it um, to be more um, cloud-oriented so that it can sync to your desktop and um, to your phone. So music from your desktop is on your phone, movies from your desktops on your phone, etc. So that's that's the actual plan. Um, now, the best feature is um, self safe mode. Um, he wrote this from scratch and basically it's the USB mass storage and I'll be showing that to you guys in a second so simply connect via USB okay and once it pops up come on USB cable okay finally okay so once you do get connected you'll see that now there are three options so right there's USB mass storage this makes your um, SD card become a flash drive on your computer so now let's go take a look at how this thing looks like alrighty okay and my computer and if you take a look right there removable disk F is my phone so let's go inside right there and as you can see a bunch of ROMs the kernel and a few other folders that I have in my phone so you can view it as a, a flash storage drive so it's pretty awesome um, self safe mode is also working on to coding it so that it may work on the MMC partition so the internal storage card and um, that would be really cool then you can access it exactly how the mounting system was in gingerbread so yeah that's basically it for this build um, please like comment and subscribe and we'll try to get some more content for you guys we also have a Facebook page a Google Plus account and a Twitter please follow us there as well this has been all about Andrews.com thanks for watching